everyone, it's Emma, and today I'm here with my brother Peyton, who is not the same brother who I made a video with a while ago, even though they look similar. <laughs> Peyton is the one, you've probably seen him in my vlogs, a lot of times he's opening the door for me, or he has his tongue sticking out because he doesn't realize that I'm filming him. <laughs> today we're going to talk about some of our favorite book covers. You haven't said hi yet, say hi. Hi. I didn't know when that was supposed to happen. Sorry, I should have cued you. Peyton's a graphic designer, so I figured Talking about book covers was good video for us to make together. I stepped on your lights. We tend to have different aesthetics as far as book covers. Like he likes very minimal mm. and I just like them to be really pretty. Minimal is pretty. Minimal is pretty, you're right. We each picked five books that are our favorite covers and we're gonna see how many we can get through. Tell them a little bit about you and how you read. Yeah, how you read. I read with my eyes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Usually like this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, I started to like reading is my mom and I read the first Harry Potter book together. I remember one night we stayed up really late trying to get to the end of it and then we realized there was like probably a quarter of the book left. And, <laughs> but then I started reading it and after the first one I just picked them up on my own and just tore through them as fast as I could. I've always been a fast reader um, and then in high school I took a speed reading course to the point where it's ridiculous and I finished books in like one day. He read Name of the Wind and A Wise Man's Fear in like two and a half days. The first book took me a week and the second book took me <laughs> two weeks, like two weeks to read the second book. And yeah. It's ridiculous. And so now I like to read like lots of different kinds of books. I read a lot of young adult books but then I also read classics and like kind of kooky quirky books that are really weird but make me think <laughs> and I like that. So I just kind of walk into a bookstore and whatever like resonates with me. I like pick it up off the shelf and usually open to the middle and read something and if it still resonates with me I buy it. He's amazing. I cannot go into a bookstore and find a book that I would love if I don't already know about it. He can walk into a bookstore and find a book and then it turns out to be a really good book and he knew nothing about it. I really don't understand how it works. I judge a book by its cover. That's what the covers are there for. I do too, but it doesn't work like how it does with you. Maybe because there's not enough white on yours. <laughs> Peyton is big reason why I started reading because I'm yeah. like four and a half years younger than him and so he read all these books and I wanted to be <laughs> like him so I started reading too. That's cool, I didn't know that. Really? Yeah. I mean you and Will both but mm -hmm. because you were like the older one in my eyes you were like that's so cool he's reading <laughs> these books really fast I want to do that. <laughs> um, Why don't you go first? You start with one of your favorite covers. Okay. I tend to like books with a lot of white on them and especially if they have like strong fonts on them and you know, graphic designers are all about like really nerding things nerding things <laughs> really nerding things <laughs> um really nerdy things like white space and paper and fonts he's all um, about fonts mm -hmm. <laughs> and so these charles dickens covers hold it up but, but they all they all fulfill all of those it's really interesting how it cuts it off and then like there's a bunch of them but for this one usually there's some kind of illustrated guy in there. It's really cool. They grab your attention right away. The illustrations are really neat too. Watercolor. I hope you can see it. This one is the Random House Vintage Classics Editions, I think. They carry them in a lot of bookstores. Our local bookstore has them. Yeah. My turn. Your reasons for loving them are all technical and stuff, and then I'm like, look, it's pretty! This is also Penguin Random House Vintage Classics, but this might just be the UK cover. It captures like the magic of the circus. My favorite color is black and white and red. So mm -hmm. that's that a good makes color me scheme. Like it. it is a good color scheme. I really like covers that when you look at it at first, it just looks aesthetically pleasing, and then you read the book and you look back at the cover and you realize the whole story is mm -hmm. right there on the front cover, but you didn't know because you hadn't read the book yet. See, like a lot of the story looking back at it. I like the red spine. Also, for me, the cover matters and then the inside book design matters a lot to me. Like what the chapter headings look like and what the title page looks like. And this one has like little stars throughout the whole thing. Hmm. It's just really pretty while you're reading it. So my next book is Armada by Ernest Cline. And these books have like a really fun 80s vibe. I think Ready Player One came out first and then this one came out. It captures the 80s vibe really well. And I love this like title and how the letters kind of interact with each other. I love the style of the illustration as well. How Emma was saying where you look at the cover and it illustrates something about it. The more you look at it after you read it, the more you realize. They're also just good colors. Like it's mm -hmm. bright colors, but they're not obnoxious bright at all. My next favorite, any of these, this author's books as my favorite, it is Lullabies by Lang Leave. 
I love the covers of all her poetry books like mm. so much. The same thing, hers have really nice design on the inside. Pretty sure she does these illustrations on her own, but they're really soft gray watercolors. The gold lettering, it's just so pretty and calming and it looks like how her poetry is and I really like that a lot. My next book is called F, like the letter F. The title says F, a novel. But this is one of the ones I went in and just kind of picked out because of the cover. I don't know, it just jumped out to me. And I ended up really enjoying it. It's, it's hot pink, which is unusual. And it's got this like fun, just blank illustration on it. It looks um, kind of like magenta-ish on camera, but it's actually really pink. Like it's pure, really, really pink. Hot pink. My next favorite it's Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. I really like all of her cover designs, actually. I just think it's really cool how it's the crow, which is, like, significant in the book, but his feathers make out the city landscape, mm -hmm. which is symbolic when you've read the book. Um, I also just really like the design. Like, the underside cover is bright red, and then inside, for the parts, it has, like, pretty design, and then the chapter headings are really pretty, too. And I just never really get tired of this. It has this sharpness to it that the books have. It gets the essence of the writing, which is what I like. So my next book is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. And I love this cover because it captures what I imagined the main character felt like with his powers. If you have read these books, it's about two guys who try to give themselves like superpowers, basically. And they do it, but it takes like a different turn than your typical superhero. The illustration is kind of wavy, how these buildings are like distorted and symbolic with different things, like the wine glass and there's blood on the ground and this ring of smoke around him. Yeah. Um, so it's another one of those where it's you look at it and you're like, wow, what is that? Then you read it and you understand it more and more. Um, but the illustration really captures the vibe of the book and what I imagined the character feels like with his powers. My fourth favorite these aren't ranked, by the way, in like favorite to least favorite or anything, mm -hmm. they're just random, is this edition of Sense and Sensibility. It's probably my favorite because I just bought it recently. Penguin Classics Deluxe Edition, but I buy Centennial Edition of those. There's a bunch of these editions for classics and they're all really pretty. The Jane Eyre one is also a favorite cover of mine. Mm. It's kind of cool, like Sense and Sensibility. There's the teacup which is like female life back then, but then there's like this tornado coming out of it, which seems like very Jane Austen. I like the font. I like how it all looks sketched. Mm -hmm. Why are you making that thing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so my last book is actually a book that I haven't finished yet, um, but it's just a fun book called Holy Cow. And it's... Wait, don't hold it in front of your mouth. It's really fun and weird. It's about a cow who discovers the meat industry and then wants to run away to India because cows are sacred there and no one will eat her. It's really <laughs> sarcastic and really humorous and funny. And I think the cover captures that, but there's also a lot of white. Actually, it's like a cream color. There's a lot of white and I think these illustrations are really fun. Here it is, like at certain points. And yeah. I like this like sketchy, like it looks like it's just a Sharpie. Yeah, you can tell that it's like a quirky, fun book. Mm -hmm. From the title, too, but from the cover design. My last favorite, kind of an indulgent one, but I actually do like the cover. It's Blue Lily Lily Blue by Maggie Stiefvater. I like this series a lot, so I'm a little bit biased with the covers, but I really do like all the covers, and this one, for some reason, sticks in my mind. It's like she's growing out of plant life. I think it looks emotionally symbolic. I'm guessing this is supposed to be blue on the cover, that's what I always took it to be. I like that also with this series, the underside cover, they're all gray, but they're all different shades of gray. When you put them next to each other, they get darker as the books hmm. go, which That's I don't know, cool. that just seems like it's purposeful. Okay, those are all the books that we picked out for this video. I think I'm gonna do a follow-up video for this at some point because I have so, so many favorite book covers. Like while I was picking these, I just kept finding another one and another one <laughs> and another one. Thanks for being in my video with me. Of course. The end. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. I'm Miss Emma Reedslot on all of my social media, which I will link. Just point to where the description box is. Down in the description. No, it's down here. No, it's up here. No, it's not. I want it to be no, there. No, okay. it's, down it's down there. there. It's, it's down there, not up there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon with a new video.